so here we find the interactions between the four great sages the four kumaras and the two doorkeepers in vaikuntha <coughs> so these four great sages their one of the greatest qualities was they were very eager to see the supreme lord in vaikuntha being attracted by the qualities of vaikuntha prabhupada explains that this is what rupa goswami says you don't require any other price you don't require any other qualification the only qualification required to see the lord face to face is your great eagerness to see the lord rupa goswami says that tatra lalyam ekalam mulya if one can develop intense desire to serve the lord to see the lord then all other qualities will develop so these great sages they were very anxious to see the lord face to face that was their great qualification and anyway they were liberated from this material world and they were free from all material conditioning was already over after material conditioning is over it's a state from where one can take to devotional service of the lord atma ramascha munayo nirgranthi api urukrama kurvanti bhaktim ahetukim itham bhuta gune harihi even the atma ramas one who has become liberated from this material world they become attracted to the wonderful qualities of the supreme personality of godhead and thus even they perform devotional service and that is the stage these four kumaras have already reached they are attracted by the devotional service of the lord they are very eager to see the lord face to face and they are already liberated from this material world so actually speaking when they were entering just like they had entered the other six gates they should have been allowed to enter even the seventh gate moreover prabhupada explains that these four kumaras even though they were the most elderly they were practically the oldest they kept themselves like a child and just like a child is not inhibited to go anywhere no one would stop a child similarly prabhupada explains the sanyasis the one in the renounced order of life who has dedicated his mind his words his body his senses everything in the service of the lord and whose only work is to glorify the supreme lord wherever they go they should not be stopped so that was the category of these four kumaras but unfortunately they were stopped by these two door keepers so immediately just like a child when he stopped these four kumaras also became angry 
so prabhupada explains that spiritual life does not means that you become free from all qualities all qualities are there everything all emotions they have a place in spiritual world only thing is they are all purified emotions anger is purified in the material world one becomes angry when one when one's sense enjoyment is inhibited if somebody stops our sense enjoyment then we become angry because we could not gratify our senses but in spiritual world also this emotion exist we find narad muni becoming angry and he cursed nalakuvera and mani griva here we find the four kumaras also becoming angry and they will also curse for the benefit of these two door keepers jay and vijaya so they became angry <clears throat> and now they are speaking some very important verses wherein they are going to give the reasons why they require to be punished why these two inhabitants of vaikuntha are not deserving this high position to be engaged in the service of the lord so this is a very interesting verse we should try to understand it uh, attentively because these qualities are very important who can be a resident of vaikuntha we are all our goal of life is we have been taught right from the beginning in krishna consciousness back to godhead back to godhead right we all want to go back to godhead and we are all in training phase of apprentice to develop those qualities which will make us eligible to go back to godhead so it is important for us to know what qualities we should develop to go back to godhead and what qualities we should be ready to give up what is not desirable for a devotee isn't it so here we find a very vivid description in this chapter we will find uh, of who does not deserve to be in vaikuntha who deserves to be in this material world and who deserves to go back to godhead these very interesting qualities you will find right in the beginning prabhupad is explaining some very fundamental very important understanding about this verse spoken by the four great sages prabhupad says there are two very important characteristic of vaikuntha two very important characteristics of vaikuntha anyone from this sanskrit shloka can tell in sanskrit right in the beginning it is there two yes yes bhagavat paricharyayo uchchaihi everyone in vaikuntha is thoroughly engaged in the service of the lord in the material world to certain degree to the degree we are engaged in the service of the lord we will get reciprocation from the supreme lord ye yatha maam prapadhyante tam state vajami aham but in the spiritual world it is cent per cent 100 per cent everyone is engaged prabhupada is giving the example in the material world 
the citizens may have some kind of disagreements but there is no such question in the in the spiritual world the second quality the second characteristic tad dharmi naam nivasatam anyone who is a resident of vaikuntha nivasatam one who is staying there he is supposed to develop tad dharmi naam same qualities as the supreme personality of god had same qualities which are required to be in vaikuntha tad dharmi naam one is required to have the same qualities so this is very important and prabhupada is if you see right in the beginning of the purport prabhupada is elaborating on this very interesting thing prabhupada is saying difference between inhabitants of vaikuntha planet and those of a material planet is that in vaikuntha all residents engage in the service of the lord himself second and are equipped with all good qualities so these are the two very important characteristic of one residing in vaikuntha 24 hour engagement in the service of the lord and everyone is engaged and they have developed the same qualities as the supreme personality of god had and then prabhupad is also talking about that it is said it has been analyzed by great personalities that when a conditioned soul is liberated and becomes a devotee about 79% of all good qualities of the lord develop in his person so cent percent we cannot have all the qualities like the supreme lord but 79% that is the perfectional stage of any living entity in our perfectional stage we must develop 79% good qualities of the supreme personality of godhead you see so it is all the very important to understand that we should actually introspect ourselves whether i am developing these desired qualities because factually our whole goal is that we want to go back to godhead isn't it our propad magazine itself named it as back to godhead and in the very beginning prabhupada wrote very important letters that i have got a clue how to go back to godhead and how people can develop those qualities by which they can go back to godhead so these clues are given in bhagavad gita in shrimad bhagavatam the lord personally comes sends his devotees pure devotees for this most important mission of the lord in this material world the most important mission of the supreme personality of godhead is to invite the living entities who are actually suffering in this material world back to godhead in fact the past times the supreme personality of godhead he performs in this material world is to attract otherwise he has no business here supreme lord has no business here in this material world natasya karyam karanam cha vidyate he has no work to do he has no work to perform he is eternally blissfully always with his pure devotees in the spiritual world that we have seen so the only reason he comes in this material world to perform his different leelas the different pastimes is to attract the conditioned souls so that they can become attracted and gradually develop those qualities which will enable them to go back to god 
so it is very important for us to understand and to introspect and see whether we are actually developing those qualities or not otherwise uh, you know just like now they are going to curse that you are duplicitous right so duplicity in spiritual life is never tolerated whereas if one is honest and open hearted actually that is a very good qualification prabhupad explains that there was what was the name satya kama that uh, jawal yes the only qualification he had that he was completely open he was not something inside and something outside he said that actually i have no idea who my father is my mother is a prostitute nobody will reveal and i have no idea my mother meets so many men that is what my mother said to me when i asked my mother who is my father she said my dear son i do not know who your father is my business is that i am a prostitute so so many people come and meet me so i am not aware who is your father and he said the same thing and that was his qualification to be initiated in spiritual life so this is the one quality one has to completely avoid being duplicitous so that is what it is said here that is kuhu kayoho means they are saying these four greatest great sages are saying that they are posted at such a high position in the spiritual world to be engaged in the service of the lord means what they must have performed all kinds of pious activities and they must have developed these good qualities as a supreme lord and if they have developed the good qualities of the supreme lord or as a devotee they should be knowing very well who should be allowed and who should not be allowed so if anyone is entering in vaikuntha loka there is no question that anyone can enter in the vaikuntha loka not having the qualities of the supreme lord isn't it they should have understood this that no enemy can enter in the spiritual world isn't it so these are another two characteristics which are absent in the spiritual world just like prabhupada has described these two important qualities of vaikuntha everyone is engaged and everyone has developed the same qualities as a supreme lord as a pure devotee of the lord similarly in vaikuntha these two characteristics are absent one is tasmin prashanta purushe gat vigrah gat vigrahe vama prashanta purushe means there is everything is peaceful in the spiritual world no anxiety no disturbing element no demon no enemy can enter everyone is in full agreement with the supreme lord and if this is not there he cannot exist in spiritual world cannot exist in spiritual world so these are the two things which are absent in spiritual life one is 
प्रशांत पुरुषे गत विग्रहे वाम दैट इज द डिवोटीज आर कंप्लीटली पीसफुल दे आर नॉट डिस्टर्ब दे हैव नो एंगजाइटी एंड देर इज नो एनिमिटी देर इज नो एनवियसनेस एग्जिस्टिंग in any of the citizens of vaikuntha loka so they have analyzed this what should exist what should not exist and now they are saying whereas we are finding these two people vishama swabhavah they have developed opposite qualities vishama means not favorable nature they have developed discordant not in unity with the supreme lord not in agreement with the supreme lord they should have known what is the mind of the supreme lord what does he want isn't it just like the whole bhagavad gita was spoken by the lord prabhupa says to make arjuna yes man from no man to yes man earlier he was no no krishna i cannot fight and then yes he said yes karishye vachanam tava my dear lord whatever you say i will do isn't it so there is no question that in spiritual world one can be in disagreement with the supreme lord that one fails to understand what the lord wants isn't it actually this is a very important quality of a devotee we should be able to understand what our spiritual master wants isn't it just like in vaikuntha they are supposed to know the heart of the supreme lord that the supreme lord for him he wants to serve his pure devotees he is very eager we will find the supreme lord coming to the gate to resolve this issue because he is very eager to serve he says to the gopis in vrindavan that i am supposed to be giving back whatever someone renders me much more than what they can give just like we see the example of putana even a small little something done for the supreme lord otherwise she was completely with the mentality of killing krishna she had come but a small quality that she fed the supreme lord like a mother and she was liberated prabhupa says krishna thought that i have sucked her breast and so she was given that position of liberation from this material world in trinavrata example also we find prabhupad very nicely explaining from bhagavatam the supreme lord thinking i have stayed in the body of uh, not trinavarta that was aghasura i have stayed in the body of aghasura for some time and when the soul of aghasura came out from his head it waited for some time till the lord came out and then it merged in the effulgence of the lord so there prabhupad explains imagine if the lord stayed for some time in the body of aghasura and he got such a benefit if we can learn to keep the supreme lord in our mind in our heart what is the benefit we are going to derive isn't it so there that context comes that 
Krishna is telling to the gopis that I have nothing to repay the debts of your service. You better be satisfied with whatever service you have rendered. Because even I am unable to repay. I cannot repay. So you can imagine this is the mood of the Supreme Personality of Godhead towards His pure devotees. That it obliges Him even to come as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and taste that rasa which a devotee derives in purely serving the Supreme Personality of Godhead. That is the position the Lord gives. So, if a devotee fails to understand the mentality of the Lord, what the Supreme Lord, what is His idea, what is what are His thinking, isn't it? If we fail to understand and act according to our whims, then actually we are vishama swabhava. We have developed discordant mentality. Isn't it? It's very important to understand. So, in all our situations, we should measure this. Is this pleasing to the Supreme Lord or not? This should be our only measure. Is this pleasing? What I am going to do? My action? Is it for my mind and my consciousness I am thinking about? Is it pleasing to my superiors? Is it pleasing to my spiritual master? Is it pleasing to the Supreme Personality of Godhead? Otherwise, it is Vishwama Swabhava. Just like Prabhupada gave an example that a devotee in Krishna consciousness, not only he has to be tolerant outside, even in the society, one has to learn tolerance. Sometimes we think we have to be tolerant only to the outsiders. Isn't it? Sometimes we find uh, you know, outside people putting some kind of obstacles in our life. So we have to be tolerant. We think like that. Prabhupada says, no. We have to learn to be tolerant even in this Krishna consciousness society. And Prabhupada gives a very wonderful example. He says, we are picking people from all sections of society. So one cannot expect everyone to be 100% Krishna conscious. You cannot expect. Somebody will be in passion when, when somebody is becoming a devotee. It's not that everybody is in goodness. Somebody is in goodness, somebody is in passion, somebody may be in ignorance. Isn't it? It's just like a hospital. In a hospital, we don't expect that everyone is, uh, you know, no one is having disease. Earlier, generally, we used to think like that. Devotees means it's uh, Vaikuntha. No, we are trying to develop that Vaikuntha qualities. This is a hospital, this is a training center. But yes, to the extent we follow the prescription given by the doctor, we will be out of our disease. There is no doubt about this. There is no doubt about it. So this is what we should check. Isn't it? So Prabhupada says, just because you are not in agreement with others, just because you find someone else having some other qualities than you, you should not become disgusted. So he gives a very wonderful example. Prabhupada says, just like you are traveling in a ship. In the ship when you are traveling, you will not find everybody of the same mentality. Your business is not to see whether they are of the same mentality or not. You have to learn to tolerate. 
people of different mentality and mind your business understanding my business is sit along with them they are also crossing over i also want to cross over not that this person is not something is not fitting let me throw him out or otherwise no no i don't agree with these people let me jump out of the ship no say so tolerate sit there cross over isn't it because this is a temporary journey in that temporary journey learn to tolerate this is a very wonderful example prabhupad gives so we have to learn all these very good qualities like tolerance that yes different devotees will have different traits and different characteristics but everyone is taking medicine everyone is taking the prescription given by the spiritual master it may take time but eventually if everyone follows the direction they will come out of their disease one day so that is very very important to understand just like we find the example of murgari can you imagine actually what devotional service can do sometimes we are very aggressive in our nature and sometimes we say prabhu what to do this is how my upbringing was isn't it i am very impatient i am very you know i am not very tolerant i become angry very fast i am too emotional but should we remain like this whole life okay whatever our beginning would have been should we not understand that devotional life is so potent it can bring about a revolution in your heart it can change our qualities why are we thinking isn't it why are we thinking that these qualities you know my upbringing was like this all these things were there isn't it if you see the example you know we will be completely shaken murgari could change murgari such a cruel person isn't it such a envious man could not tolerate other living entities giving pain to them enjoying their pain can you imagine such a person could change to the extent that he is not willing to step on a small ant this is a change devotional service can actually bring about provided we take the medicine properly and we should think like this if murgari could change i cannot change am i like murgari at least we are not like murgari no? how many of us enjoy killing animals and enjoying we don't isn't it so we should think like this the only thing is if we take devotional service properly we should change so at least uh, annually we should analyze ourselves ek saal ho gaya have some qualities developed in me rather than that we find more uh, you know qualities which are not desirable develop we come in the beginning for practicing pure devotional service taking examples from these great go swamis like the six go swamis tyaktva turunam ashesha mandalapati everything they have given up isn't it but then slowly we become maya some because maya will not leave very easily that is maya's work maya will always see anyone who is trying to get out from this material world it's a declaration of war against maya prabhupa says so there is no doubt maya will try to catch you so then uh, all these things will come this devotee has so many facilities ye bhi to devotional service kar raha hai main bhi kar raha hu na mujhe kyu nahi hai why i do not have and practically you will find we become so much absorbed in social status social life we forget ki mera goal kya tha did did these goswamis were they anywhere do you find 
anywhere in their life do you find they were craving for honor or when some dishonor was there isn't it no we don't find completely humble that is the quality actually that is what will it is going to attract the supreme lord isn't it not our scholarship or great <coughs> orator i am maybe great singer or this or that or you know so this is not the measure this may be measured by some of our devotees and we say oh ye hai iski position achhi hai isn't it what are you going to get if some devotees are giving us some credit oh iski position achhi hai iska wo hai just we have come here to get that kind of rasa some kind of uh, you know this rasa is available in the material world abundant abundantly and that is why we are here in the material world lording over rasa isn't it this rasa we have to give up then it is possible so we should see whether we are developing these kind of qualities and uh, that is what these four kumaras are able to see that wrongly he has come here these two people have come <laughs> by mistake <laughs> better let them be sent back let them reform themselves and then come back isn't it so that should not happen to us we should be in our right place develop right qualities and then definitely krishna and the spiritual master will have their mercy and we will be able to go back to god and grantra shrimad bhagavatam ki jay jagat guru shila prabhu pad ki jay